Well, the race, race to the White House seems to be getting tighter by the day. Now Donald Trump is gaining ground in two of the most important swing states, Ohio and Florida. With Hillary Clinton's lead in the polls declining, she heads back to the campaign trail today as her health continues to be a big issue. Caitlin Burke has that story. Dueling medical releases in the fight for the White House. Appearing on the television show Dr. Oz, Donald Trump offered up some new information on his health. If elected at age 70, you will be the oldest person to ever enter the Oval Office. Why do you think you have the stamina for the job? I feel as good today as I did when I was 30. The Republican presidential nominee then went on to hand the show's host a letter with details from a recent physical. Just hours later, additional medical records released from the Clinton camp, providing more information about her pneumonia diagnosis and general health. Her doctor saying she's recovering and is fit to serve as president. Both candidates are back on the campaign trail today, with Trump set to make a speech on the economy at the Economic Club of New York. Clinton, meanwhile, will spend the day in one of the key swing states in the election, North Carolina. National polls show a very tight race, and the race is close throughout the country, including in battleground states. But Trump is gaining ground. According to a new CNN poll, he's pulled ahead of Clinton in both Ohio, where he now leads by five points, and Florida, where he has a three-point lead. Still, this race has already taken several twists and turns, and more may still lie ahead, especially with all three presidential debates yet to come. Caitlin Burke, CBN News. I have this funny feeling that once the election is over, the race for 2020 will begin the very next day. And what wonderful news that is. Well, in other news, North Carolina has lost another sports championship over its controversial bathroom law. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? That's right, Gordon. The Atlantic Coast Conference is pulling its neutral site championships out of North Carolina for the 2016-2017 season. The ACC's actions follow the lead of the NCAA, which is also moving its championship for the school year. The NBA also withdrew its all-star game from Charlotte. Those moves are in response to the state's transgender bathroom law, requiring people to use bathrooms according to their biological sex. The same rule applies to locker rooms and bathrooms in public schools. GOP leaders have decided to delay impeaching the commissioner of the IRS for now. They believe the IRS illegally targeted conservative groups like the Tea Party. Republicans say Commissioner John Koskinen tried to disrupt their investigation into those claims, prompting a major GOP effort to impeach him. They're now holding off until he answers the charges and testimony before Congress. If an impeachment vote is held, it won't be until after the November elections. While religious beliefs and faith-based activities are more than just an important part of American lives, they're also big business, bigger in fact than Apple, Google, and Facebook combined. The Washington Post reports that's the finding from a survey of religion and the economy here in the United States. It looked at faith-based enterprises like churches, charities, hospitals, along with Christian books, television, and music. Overall, religion contributes some $378 billion a year to the American economy. We'll be back with more The 700 Club after this. Rene Santoro has a way to describe last decade's Great Recession. He, she calls it the Dark Ages. She was a real estate agent when the housing bubble burst and she nearly lost her own home in the downturn. Rene was tens of thousands of dollars in debt. And here's what she did to rebuild her life. Renee Santoro is one of the most successful real estate agents in Charlotte, North Carolina. Finding people homes is my favorite thing. Oh, it's so fulfilling because um, it's the American dream and you're a part of it. But in the recession of 2008, the real estate industry was hit hard. Housing prices plummeted and home sales dried up, leaving Renee and other realtors scraping to make a living. I call them the dark ages. Everything was dead for a while around here. I mean, real estate just came to a halt. The phone stopped ringing. My husband didn't have a job. We lost our whole pension. So we ended up eating canned food, lived as frugally as we could. With the money that we had, we paid our mortgage. They used credit cards for food and other living expenses. I was having anxiety more and more, not sleeping. It wasn't happy. It was just getting through the day. 
Then, Renee suffered another setback. Her beloved father died. Her life at the time was just becoming unbearable. I, I, I was at the end of my rope. That's when Renee decided to reach out to God for help. It was at the point when I cried out, Jesus, where are you? Renee rededicated her life to Jesus Christ and started going to church. Renee also began watching the 700 Club for encouragement. That's where she learned about tithing and giving offerings. I learned that he gives us so much. He gave his life. And all we can do is at least give what we make to be a steward. If we work and get a paycheck, we certainly should give our, our part. So Renee started tithing on every commission check and in 2010 joined the 700 Club. By the end of that year... I um, started to see things that my husband got a job. He made more money than before. Every time I gave out my phone ring and I got another customer and I was doing another closing, the more I tithe, the more my business grows. Soon, Renee decided to double her pledge to CBN. I watched the 700 Club and I started crying every time I saw people in third world countries. And you see where your money goes to these little orphans that touched my soul and, and they dug wells. By 2012, Renee's real estate sales had doubled and she received a promotion to her company's relocation team. In 2015, her commissions doubled again, and she's paid almost all of her credit card debt. Tithing has changed my life because I have seen the joy and also the provision that he has given me. And it's only for God's glory, but it's more than that. It's more fulfilling to um, be a giver than a taker. I was blessed more than I could imagine. You can be blessed more than you can imagine. Here it is, and it's a promise from God in Malachi. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it. Well, a little bit goes a long way, and that was a hard lesson for Carrie to learn. She nickled and dimed her way into deep, deep debt, and here's how a small change got her back in the black. Carrie Casaza couldn't understand why she was always behind on her bills, especially working two jobs. I was pretty miserable, just always feeling in trouble and burdened and extremely stressed because I would be afraid, oh my gosh, am I gonna have enough money for groceries or my electricity getting cut off? Carrie went to a financial counselor to get help. It was there she realized her problem. I was spending money and not realizing how much I was spending. Two or three dollars a day spending on a cup of coffee or something like that, that that adds up on a daily basis. And seeing my finances in front of me on a spreadsheet, you know, being told, you know, you actually do make enough money. They taught Carrie how to manage her finances using biblical principles. That included going on a budget, and tithing off of all of her income, something she thought she couldn't do. I'd heard about it and just always thought that same saying, you know, I just, I can't afford to do it because I didn't make enough money. And I was always so afraid. Carrie followed their advice, sticking to her budget and tithing. When she made the adjustment to tithing off both paychecks, she noticed a change with her part-time job selling furniture. I was making about two to $400 a paycheck. And then once the shift started, $1,000, $1,100 in one paycheck. And that's one day a week. To see that come in and to realize, oh my gosh, you know, the Lord really has been my source and he's seen that I've been obedient. It, it just blew me away. Then Carrie says God asked her to quit her furniture sales job. She took that leap of faith and now she's enjoying her full-time job in property management even more. Since that time, Carrie says her finances haven't skipped a beat. Even after I pay my tithe and pay my bills, I still have the same amount of money in my account. And I just laugh because I, that's the Lord. Now Carrie has the resources to support ministries she loves, like CBN and Orphan's Promise. I love anything that has to do with little ones and just them finding good homes, you know, watching the stories about them. It just really kind of tugs at your heart. And I just feel like I really have to give to that because I love children. 
So many people say, I can't afford it. Well, you can't afford not to because our money actually is not ours. It all belongs to the Lord and He wants to see that we trust Him enough and believe in Him enough that He's going to take care of us. Here's, here's what happens when you trust Him and you trust Him with your finances. It's Psalm 37. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and He will give you your heart's desire. Here is something that is just a principle. And, and when you act in accordance with the principle, you'll get the same results. What you saw happen to Carrie can happen to you if you just follow that principle. Now I've got some great news. We've got some partners from Florida who say, we love giving to CBN and we wanna challenge others to give. And so till the end of the hour, they'll match your giving dollar for dollar, $90,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing for the partners from Florida who made it possible to issue the challenge. And for those watching, making decisions, Lord, speak to them, be with them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. $90,000 is the challenge amount. 45 minutes, 25 seconds is the clock. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold, which is $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now. We have a $90,000 challenge, and that means your giving is automatically matched dollar for dollar, up to and including $90,000. So call us now. Terry? Well, we want you to have something that's going to bless your prayer life. It's Pat Robertson reading the book of John. You know, it's been called God's love letter to us. Well, this two CD set is our gift to you when you become a 700 Club partner. And it's the perfect way to soak in the word of God, whether you're at home or on the go. Take a look. Hello, this is Pat Robertson. I've just finished recording one of the most beloved books in all the Bible. The Gospel According to John. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. My hope is that you will use this recording to allow the Word of God to abide in you. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Listen to it again and again and speak the words along with me. Let these great passages fill your heart as the Word of God transforms your mind and builds your faith. Receive the power of God's life-giving Word, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson, available now. May God richly bless you as you meditate on Jesus. You know, for the impact of the Word to come out of your life, you first have to put it into your heart and mind. This is a great tool to do that. I have it plugged into my car. I listen to it on my way to work in the morning and home again at night and when I'm running errands during the day. I think you'll find it really a blessing in your life as well. The Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. It's two CDs and it's yours when you join the 700 Club. So will you give us a call now? To do that is 65 cents a day, $20 a month. Our number's toll free, it couldn't be simpler. 1-800-700-7000. Just call and say, I want to join the 700 Club and we'll get this gospel reading out to you right away. Gordon? Well, married couples argue the most about money. And that was definitely true for Pete and Sarah. They were behind on their bills and Pete was between jobs. Sarah knew how to fix their finances, but Pete was too hard-headed to listen. Pete Arsene Yuga is most at home in the ring. He's been coaching for over 20 years and trains the next generation of fighters at his gym in Lockhart, Texas. I box for the Marine team and then I coach the Marine Corps boxing team and so it's what I love to do. Just a few years ago, Pete and his wife Sarah were having clashes of their own about money. The arguments escalated when Sarah wanted to start tithing to their church. I guess it was a conviction that I was feeling. We have to give to the church. The couple was struggling just to pay their bills and Pete was conflicted about what to do. I wrestled with a lot of what I knew was right. She was right, you know, let's tithe. And I wasn't there. I wasn't there and she was. And I think God was trying to use her to get me to that point. Reaching that point would take time. 
It started when he was let go from his job in 2007. We got behind in our house payment a few months. You know, we were every month having notices on our door about our electricity. There was a lot of, of worry there. It was their church who came through with financial gifts to help the couple through that difficult time. At that point, I realized that, you know what, there's good people out there. We need to start being the same way. So when Pete landed a new job in an aerospace manufacturing plant, he agreed to start tithing as long as they had the extra money. I was still trying to kind of be in charge of things. You know, I wasn't just quite ready to let go of, of everything, especially money, because we were recovering. Then in 2011, a friend gave Pete a trip to Israel. Pete says while walking in the footsteps of Jesus, the Lord spoke to his heart. You go back home and you start living for me and you start giving to me. First, you start doing all those things, putting me first, period. And that did it. That did it. I mean, it was that simple. Once Pete and Sarah started tithing faithfully and consistently, their finances turned around. Because what she was saying was truth. God always does it. Somehow, some way, I give, he just pours back in. You know, I mean, we're in good standing. I look at my credit now, it's in good standing everywhere. There's no more of the arguing about the money. And that was our biggest argument. Since then, they've also become CBN partners. When I saw CBN, I said, man, this is so cool. They help everybody. They have their hand in everything. Every kind of ministry, whether it's here in, in the United States or whether it's outside in a different part of the world. Now, Pete and Sarah have peace in their relationship. We're best friends. I mean, we hang out at the gym together. We're tight. <laughs> we're tight. It's a huge difference. <laughs> huge from where we were. We gotta understand this. The Lord is the one with the bank account. He doesn't need our money. We need Him. He just wants an opportunity to see our heart. And if we bless Him, well, He's gonna do what any good father would do. He'd bless His child back. Here's the principle for you. It's from Proverbs chapter 3. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase, so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Once Pete got the principle, honor the Lord, honor him, put him first, that's when the blessings happen. If you want to start that, if you want to say, I want to start giving, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Do it now, call us, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, from the beginning of time to the resurrection, the book of John contains the story of Jesus as told by the disciple whom he loved. Now you can hear it come to life in this new CD by Pat Robertson. In the beginning was the Word. From CBN. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The Gospel of John. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Read by Pat Robertson. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish. Let the spoken Word of God transform your mind and increase your faith. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. Receive the power of God's life-giving Word. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson, available now. If you've never read the Bible, the Gospel of John is the place to start. It's where it all begins. It's where you meet Jesus. It's where you learn that He is truly the Son of God, the light of the world, and the one who went to the cross for you and for me to pay the ultimate price for our sins. John is the book that uh, you want to not only read, but you want to listen to it because it really does something to your spirit. And we've made it easy for you to do that with our new reading by Pat Robertson called The Gospel of John. Fill your drive time with God's Word. That's right. You can just put this in your car and listen to it on your way to work, on your way to doing errands. Uh, this will be a real blessing to you. It's yours when you become a 700 Club partner. 
1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. If you're already a CBM partner at $20 a month, that's how much it takes to become a CBM partner. I just want to say thank you so much. But I'd like to challenge you right now to go up to our gold level. That's just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you with three of Pat's new reading of the Gospel of John, one for you and two to give away. If you can go a little higher, hey, a lot of us can. Let's go up to our 1,000 Club level. It's just $84 a month or higher. We are going to send you five. That's right, five of these. I'm sure you can think of four people right now who need to hear the Gospel of John. This is one of the um, most important books of the Bible because you really get to know who Jesus is and the sacrifice he made for us. This is yours when you give us a call right now. Terry? Well, at CBN, we're more than just a TV show. We help people around the world start new lives, including one desperate mother in Georgia who had to flee an abusive husband. 43-year-old Irma lived with an abusive husband for 13 years. Her worst memories are not of the violence she endured, but of the suffering of her three children. It was like death for me when he would beat our small children. When my Tamar was only two years old, I heard her cries as he beat her. I rushed in to save her and then he beat me. Irma's greatest fear was that one day her husband would kill them all. So after years of abuse, she left him and took all her children. I explained that I wouldn't have proper house, food, or money. They all said, yes, we will starve rather than stay here. As a single mother with three children, Irma received $45 a month in government support. It was only enough for two weeks of food. They were starving together with me. They got sick too and almost died because we had no medicine. I said to myself, Irma, you have to do something. Irma had knitting and sewing skills, so she began to take yarn from existing clothing to make new ones to sell. But with no money for supplies, she could only knit and sell a few items. I began to pray to God, please provide me with yarn and fabric so that I can make more money to feed my family. A church that partners with CBN's Orphan's Promise heard about Irma and her children. We brought food and a special invitation to the Orphan's Promise Training Center hosted by the church. I enjoy being in the center. I have many friends there. The kids always come home full from there. They say, Mom, we have already eaten. But we wanted to do more to help Irma. So we bought her a sewing machine and all the supplies she needs to start a small business. It is a joyful day for me. I will be able to sew bedding and towels and knit sweaters and hats with the help of your gifts. I am very happy. Please accept a very big thank you from all of us. My kids no longer go hungry. Everything is fine with us now. Thank you so much for that. You know, Jesus said he came to set the captive free and he wants us to have life and to have it abundantly. You gave that to Irma and to her children. We say thank you, 700 Club members. You're making a difference in the lives of hundreds of thousands of people around the world. If you're not a 700 Club member, this is the day you need to join. It means that you are touching, bringing hope, giving opportunity and the future to people who without you would not have it. That's how God uses us. So go to the phone and join with us, won't you? Our number's toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. Just call and say, I want to join the 700 Club. Lots of different club levels for you to join at. So pick a club level and then live expectantly for how God's going to use you to touch and change the world. Gordon? Well, for years, the Fang family looked at their daughter and worried that every day would be her last. She had a heart condition, and they had no way to pay for her surgery. When Shin Rui was five years old, doctors said she had a hole in her heart, and if she didn't get surgery, she was going to die. It felt like someone was clenching my heart and trying to stop me from breathing all the time. For years, Shinrui's parents worked as poor farmers, but they were never able to make enough to pay for the surgery. And time was running out. I couldn't stand to see her tortured like that. I was so afraid that she wouldn't make it. I wish it had been me with the heart trouble instead of Shinrui. 
It's the same feeling any parent around the world would have when you see your child lying helpless in a bed and you can't do anything. A few times Shin Rui fainted at school. Doctors worried she was going to have a heart attack. Sometimes I wished I had never been born because I was such a huge burden to my parents. Many times I asked God to please help us. Mr. and Mrs. Fong prayed for the same thing. And when Shin Rui was 12, a team from CBN heard about her and quickly paid for her surgery. Doctors repaired Shin Rui's heart, and now she's the picture of health. I've been given a brand new start. She's happy and is always positive. It's like the wind blew away, the dark clothes and sunshine has come out. God heard our prayers. Our God is so merciful, and CBN is like an angel for giving me surgery. Now I know God really loves me. I can feel it in my heart. I can feel it in my heart. God loves me. You were part of that. If you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. We're helping people in very tangible ways. You, you help to sponsor special surgeries like the one you just saw. You help sponsor water wells so people can have fresh water, drinking water, uh, the water of life. It gets rid of all kinds of intestinal parasites, uh, eliminates infant mortality. It's just amazing the transformation that happens. You're part of Superbook. You're part of Orphan's Promise. You're part of Operation Blessing. You're a part of all of it when you join with us. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. Well, let's face it, life can get hectic, so we've made it easy for you to immerse yourself in the Word of God. It's the Book of John, as read by Pat Robertson. You can listen to it as you're driving in your car or drinking a cup of coffee, and it's our gift to you when you join the 700 Club. Let the spoken Word of God transform your mind and increase your faith with the Gospel of John. For God has so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Experience the power of God's life-changing Word in the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. My hope is that you will use this recording to allow the Word of God to abide in you. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Find assurance of God's love and plan for you as you listen again and again. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. May God richly bless you as you meditate on Jesus. Fill your heart and mind with the promises of God. Get the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. Available now. If the Bible was a body, the Gospel of John would be the heart. It's the heartbeat of the Bible. It's where you meet Jesus. It's where you discover how much He loves you and what He did for you 2,000 years ago on the cross and what He's still doing for you today. Maybe you're saying, well, you know, I just don't feel worthy. Well, God thought you were so worthy that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die for you that you would have eternal life. That's in, that's John 3:16 that I'm quoting right there. That's in the Gospel of John. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to take time to read the Bible, but we want to make it easy for you to get, I think, probably the most important book in the Bible, the Gospel of John. You can put this in your car, you can listen to this on your way to work, on your way to the gym, on your way to the grocery store, and, and you can get fed by the Word of God. Do you know, we, we cannot expect to have a real relationship with Jesus or with God unless we know Him, and the only way to know Him is to know His Word, is to know what He said. And of all the, the books in the Bible, the Gospel of John, you hear from Jesus. So we want you to have this. It's our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. $20 a month, 65 cents a day is all it takes to become a CBM partner. If you're already there, I just want to say thank you so much. You're making a huge difference around the world. But I would like to challenge you to go up to our gold level. It's just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you with three, a past new reading of the Gospel of John, one for you and two to give away. If you can go up to our 1,000 Club level, that's $84 a month or higher, we're going to bless you with five of Pat's new reading of the Gospel of John. Think about 
four people right now that could really benefit from this. They might not ever step foot in a church, but they'll say, yeah, I'll, I'll listen to this in my car, in the privacy of my car or my own home. So this is yours when you give us a call right now. Gordon? Well, Ted and Linda love being on the open road in a classic car. They also love watching the 700 Club and with good reason. Take a look. Ted and Linda are both retired and loving life. They've also been loyal 700 Club viewers for years. They were both watching the show when they gave their lives to Jesus Christ. Look into that TV and he says, if you die right now, you know where you're going. And I just kind of turned and looked at Linda and I said, I don't know, I don't think so. We started watching it every day from that night on. We knew that, that, that God was speaking to us, and it was definitely through the 700 Club. A few weeks later, they saw Pat teaching on giving. Look to him, do what he says, and then watch what he'll do for you. Linda was excited to try it out. Ted, on the other hand, was reluctant. How I grew up, there was nothing like that, you know. I never heard nothing about tithing. So when she started mentioning that about taking some of our money, I thought, whoa, now wait a minute. But after studying about what the Bible said about giving, Ted jumped on board. They started tithing to their local church and giving $15 a month to CBN. It started immediately at that whenever we gave, it, we got blessed. One way or another, we got blessed. And it wasn't to give to get, but it just it just happened. After we just kept giving, it just got to be a, just a natural thing. The Lord blessed us so good to where, you know, our how we didn't owe money on the house. They say that God has honored their giving over the past 30 years. When Ted lost his job after his employer of 24 years shut down, the couple continued to give. And I just said, okay, Lord, you said, test me and prove me. And I said, I'm gonna to continue to write these checks. And money would come in from people that owed us money that I had forgotten about. He immediately got another job. I mean, just, it, he always takes care of us. Ted and Linda have increased their giving to CBN to over $400 a month. They say their reward isn't financial gain. It's the joy of helping others. The Lord's the center of it all. I mean, uh, you're being a witness of love when you give to others and what joy it is when you see on TV what your money's going for. Operation Blessing, military, orphans, and you know that you're part of it. I'd say, hey, try it. Just try it. All kind of people say you can't never outgive God, and you can. You can't ever outgive God. You really can't. Just try it. It's the only time we get to test Him. We get to test him with our tithes and offerings, and he says, prove me now in this, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven. If you want to have that happen in your life, all you have to do is do the same thing Ted and Linda did. First, get your heart right with God, and then honor his word, live according to his principles, then the blessings will come. If you want to start that, call us, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Terry? Well, Jason Keene loves coming home to his wife and family, but he also loves going to work. Jason's thankful that he has a job because not long ago, he was unemployed and burning through his life savings. The Keene household is always full of energy, especially when dad gets home. It's a very joyous event when I come home. They've missed me all day and it's evident when I walk in and it's just a blessing to come through the door and be greeted by a happy family. The times weren't always easy for this family of six. After 17 years with the same company, Jason was let go due to downsizing. After I lost my job, it was really challenging. We were facing a long time without any real reliable source of income. It was really hard after he'd been unemployed for more than three months and we had no money and we had no money coming in and we had to start living on the credit cards. While Jason sent out resume after resume, he and his wife Ashley used all of their resources keeping the family afloat. They quickly went through their life savings. If I didn't get a job soon, we were gonna have to make some hard decisions. We had such a tiny, finite amount of real money in the bank account. So in trying to hold on to that for real bills, because you know, they will turn off your electricity and they will turn off your water. 
and if you don't pay them for long enough, they will come and take your house from you. Knowing that the Keens were desperate, a friend told them about Operation Blessing Partner, One Heart Ministries. It was amazing. The first time that we went to One Heart Ministries, Operation Blessing, thought it was just gonna be food, and then that they had toilet paper and diapers. Jason's job search efforts paid off when he found a job at a high-end appliance store. In about six months, I went from uh, unemployed to general manager. And we're still helping the family as they work to get back on their feet. It's very exciting to have an income again. It's meeting our needs right now. And with One Heart Ministries and Operation Blessing, we are meeting bills. If I could talk directly to the people who donate and support One Heart Ministries and Operation Blessing, I would tell them thank you. I appreciate what you're doing for us. Well, we show you lots of stories of things that 700 Club members are doing around the world in third world countries, but there's lots that we're doing right here at home. For families just like, like J Jason and Ashley, you know, they're in between jobs, they have a need, and you step in and help them. You've seen us down in Louisiana with the flooding where there have been other national disasters. Operation Blessing is there. We just want to say thank you to those of you who are saying, yes, we want to stand with you. We want to make a difference. And to those of you that aren't, what a great opportunity for you to step right up with us now. You can go to our phone and call our toll-free number. It's 1-800-700-7000. Lots of club mem members to, er, levels to choose from. Let me show you a general membership. There it is. It's $20 a month. That breaks down to 65 cents a day. Maybe you are a 700 Club member. Would you go up to the next level? 700 Club Gold is $40 a month. We have lots and lots of 1,000 Club members at $84 a month. 2,500 Club is $209 a month, or you might want to become a founder. That's $5,000 a year, breaks down to $417 a month. We even have a group we call the Chairman's Circle. These are friends who give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. Listen, ask God what he'd have you to do. Pray about it. And then when he speaks to your heart, do it with the expectancy that he's going to use you to make a difference and bless you at the same time. Call now. Gordon? Well, Lebanon has taken in more than a million people from Syria. Many of them are children who are now living in refugee camps. That's where we met a boy named Naji, who lived with relatives and didn't want to leave his tent. When the Syrian civil war came to the city of Homs, thousands were forced to run for their lives. Naji and his family fled to a refugee camp in southern Lebanon. There were so many planes and bombs. I thought we would die. We came here thinking life would be better, but it's been very difficult. When I went to the camp, Naji's aunt told me about how his father died of a chronic heart condition soon after making it to Lebanon. Later, his mother abandoned him and his siblings. Naji has really suffered. He's been very angry and sad. We put him in a Lebanese public school, but the teachers yelled at him. They hit him and the other refugee children, so he didn't want to go back. When Heart for Lebanon, which is supported by CBN, went to Naji's camp, we invited him to come to the Hope Center. Here, he's learning English, Arabic, and math. I feel really happy going to school now. The teachers treat me nice, and I've made a lot of friends. It is like I have a big family. We show Superbook in Arabic at the school so the kids can have some fun while learning about Jesus Christ. I love Jesus because he came down from heaven and forgave my sins. Every time I want to do a bad thing, Jesus comes into my mind and tells me not to do it. He's always with me. Since Naji started going to the Hope Center, he has gotten so much happier and he behaves himself. I'm so happy he has a safe place to go to school now. Naji's aunt told us about how she and the other refugees all had to walk to the other side of their camp to collect water. So we installed a system that delivers fresh water directly to their tents. We also give food to Naji's family and thousands of other refugees. They all get rice, beans, canned meat, cleansers, and other household supplies. Every month, it's enough to keep a family of six going. We really love Heart for Lebanon and CBN. You have done so much for us. We have enough food to feed our family and clean water to drink. Thank you so very much. We even had a special surprise for Naji, a brand new bike. I thought I was dreaming. I couldn't believe I would ever have a bicycle. It is so beautiful. I want to thank you for your kind hearts. 
Everything I have is from heart for Lebanon and CBN. I love you so much. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of helping people around the world. You can be a part of broadcasting the gospel around the world. You can be a part of all that we do just by joining the 700 Club. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Now I've got some great news. Some partners from New Mexico want to increase this challenge by 63,000. They want to take it all the way to 153,000 and let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this and we ask for increase, both for the partners from New Mexico and for those watching right now. Just be with them, encourage them, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Be a part of it. We got a challenge now, $153,000. That means your giving is automatically matched and doubled for the next 16 minutes. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000. And let's go to Wendy at the phones. Thanks, Gordon. Well, we often encourage viewers on this very program to open up the Bible and start with the book of John. It contains Jesus' meeting with Nicodemus, his final words at the Last Supper, and we want Jesus' words to fill your heart, which is why Pat Robertson recorded this two CD sets. In the beginning was the Word. From CBN, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. For God has so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. Let the spoken word of God transform your mind and increase your faith. Receive the power of God's life-giving word, the Gospel of John, read by Pat Robertson. Available now. Well, we want you to have the Gospel of John. Pat has put it on here so you can actually listen to it. There's something that happens, you know, the Bible says hearing Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. That's why it's so important not just to read the Word, but to listen to it. We want to make it easy for you with this new reading by Pat Robertson. It's yours when you call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day it breaks down to to become a CBM partner. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? But if you're already there, I just want to say thank you so much. You're making a huge difference right here in America and all around the world. When our, we come together, it all adds up. But I'd like to challenge you right now to think about going to our gold level. That's just $40 a month. When you do that, we want to bless you back with Pat's new reading of the Gospel of John, one for you and two to give away. If you can go up to our thousand club level or even higher, we're going to give you five. That's right. We're in the middle of $153,000 challenge right now with 14 minutes left on the clock. That means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So this is a great time to go to your phones. We need your help. Terry. Well, every day, Hajara had to face her greatest fear, the dirty pond on the edge of her village. And she had a good reason to be scared because that toxic water killed her brother. Hajara doesn't mind helping out. In fact, she likes feeding the goats and working with her dad on the farm. But getting water from the village pond is one chore she dreads. I get scared every time I go there to get water. The water is so dirty. It smells. I'm scared to even touch it, because that water killed my brother. Two years ago, Hajara's older brother died of cholera after drinking the contaminated water. His death made Hajara worry that the rest of her family would die too. Sometimes she would not drink water for days for fear she might die. I was afraid I would lose her to dehydration. When CBN dug a well in their village, Hajara's father watched her drink clean water for the very first time in her life. The water did not just quench her thirst. It took away her fear of death. I can't tell you how much of a blessing this well is to us. Thank you, CBN, for this wonderful gift. I feel like you've given me my life back. Thank you so much. Clean water is the gift of life, and you are supplying it as we drill and supply wells all around the world for people who just literally don't have an option for it. This makes it possible for them to have clean water as a family, for their entire community ha to have clean water, and they always know that it comes from you, that from the loving hand of God comes people who care and who are making it possible. Thank you, 700 Club members. You're really making a difference in the lives of thousands and thousands of people 
all around the globe. So call us now. Go up to the next club level if you can. If you haven't joined the 700 Club, do it now. We need to hear from you. 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? Well, Superbook is a great resource for teaching children the stories of the Bible. In Indonesia, one father showed his children the creation story, and he couldn't believe what happened next. Graham is a Sunday school teacher in Indonesia. Recently, he was preparing his first lesson using CBN's new Superbook curriculum. When it came time to preview the episode in the beginning, he invited his son Richard and daughter Thea to watch with him. The Superbook story was about Adam and Eve. The snake tricked Eve and she ate the fruit. They sinned against God. I had never seen Superbook before. I noticed how my son was engaged in the story. Bram was excited about how his Sunday school kids would react to the lesson too. When they watch Superbook, they really focus on the story. The Superbook curriculum was great too. It came with lessons, schedules, and activities. What Bram didn't expect was how Superbook would make an impact on his son that same day. As the six-year-old re-watched the Adam and Eve episode, he confessed something to his dad. I told him I was the one who dropped my little sister's plate. Richard had lied earlier and blamed his little sister for the broken plate. Right in the middle of the Superbook story, he said, Daddy, I was the one who did it. I was amazed. Richard apologized to his sister, then he prayed and asked Jesus to forgive him. His voice was shaking. I'd never seen him pray so seriously before. After I prayed with Daddy, I felt better. Bram was curious why his son had confessed during the Superbook episode. Richard told me he didn't want to be tricked by the serpent, like Adam and Eve. I was surprised and proud of him at the same time. As for Richard, his dad says he still can't get over how a single animated cartoon made such an impact on a six-year-old boy. God used Superbook to change my son's heart. Superbook is amazing. Superbook in Indonesia, one of the largest Muslim countries in the world, and here it is affecting the lives of children, a six-year-old boy. We want to see the stories of the Bible get to the children of the world, and you're a part of it when you join the 700 Club. We're on our way to 50 languages on the translation, and there's a broadcast map showing you all the different languages and locations where you're sending Superbook to the children of the world if you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, join with us, 1-800-700-7000. If you are a member, consider going up this year. If you're a 700 Club uh, partner, consider going to 700 Club Gold, which is $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. Well, in the book of John, you'll hear some of the most powerful words of Christ's ministry as told by his beloved disciple. Now it's in Pat's new audio CD, These Words Come to Life, and it's our gift to you when you join the 700 Club. An excerpt from the Gospel of John. Therefore, Jesus said again, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep, and all who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of John, available now. I love the book of John because more than any other book in the Bible, you really get to know who Jesus is and more importantly, how much he loves you and me. It's an amazing book and it's even more amazing when you can listen to it. We want to make it easy for you to do just that with Pat's new reading of the Gospel of John. This is our gift when you give us a call right now. The number on your screen, 1-800-700-7000 and just say, yes, I'd like to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Great question. 65 cents a day. That's right. 65 cents a day. Think about that. You probably have that in your pocket right now or in your purse or in my case, usually in the bottom of my purse. So 
that's all it takes to become a CBM partner. If you're already there, I just want to say thank you because you are making such a huge difference around the world. But I'd like to challenge a lot of you to go up to our gold level, $40 a month. If you can go there, we want to bless you back with three of Pat's new reading of the Gospel of John, one for you and two to give away. We have other levels here at CBN, our Thousand Club level. If you go there, which is just $84 a month or higher, we are going to give you five of this brand new reading of the Gospel of John. Think about four people right now that really could benefit from hearing the Word of God. Maybe they will never go into a church, but they'll listen to this in their car and you just never know what might happen. Somebody might just be in heaven because of you and because of hearing the book of John. This is our gift when you give us a call right now. Gordon? In the blink of an eye, Rene lost it all. His home and everything he owned was washed away in a storm. He couldn't rebuild, but thanks to viewers like you, he didn't need to. Rene is a single dad. He does his best to protect and watch over his two small children. But he says the weather and the fact that their house sits on stilts over a river really makes him nervous. Renee's 11-year-old son, Ray, has picked up on his dad's fear. We are scared we might drown and die. Then, a typhoon hit their community in the Philippines. Many people drowned. The river rose and everything we had washed away. After the storm, Renee sifted through the rubble with other survivors for their belongings. He didn't make enough as a bicycle taxi driver to rebuild, so he and the children ended up in a shelter. I'm growing old. I just want my children to have a safe home. When CBN learned about their situation, we built them this new house far from the river. Its reinforced cement walls can withstand earthquakes and winds up to 150 miles per hour. I was so excited to choose my bedroom. It's a big relief to know we will be safe in our new house. Rene was so grateful for the house we gave him that he helped us build more houses for other typhoon victims in this CBN community of hope. Thank you, CBN, for our new house. You can be a part of it. When disasters strike, we want to strike back. We want to strike back with love, with compassion, and very tangible help in their time of need. If you want to be a part of it, a part of everything we're doing, all you have to do is go to the phone and call us, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Do it right now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, in Indonesia, a two-year-old baby suffered from juvenile cataracts. His parents couldn't afford to help him, and he would have gone completely blind without the help of 700 Club members from CBN. When Zulfikar was born, his father saw white spots forming in his son's eyes. He knew that meant that just like his wife, Ellis, his son would go blind too. The first time I saw my son's eyes, I was heartbroken. I can't imagine what kind of future he will have. Over time, Zulfikar's eyes got worse. Every time I come home, he doesn't seem to recognize me. It makes me so sad. When he walks around, he always bumps into things. The family lives in this remote village in Indonesia where 20-year-old Nerdin drives a motorcycle taxi. Saving enough to pay for surgery was out of the question. I earn only $2 a day. How would I be able to pay for it? Then we came to visit their community. CBN told us they would help our son. That was such good news for us. We took Zolfiger to the hospital, where a surgeon replaced the lenses in his eyes. Now when I come home, my son calls my name. He recognizes me. I'm so relieved. Thank you, CBN, for helping our son to see. 700 Club members, sight is just one of the gifts you give to people when you join the 700 Club. You're doing all kinds of significant work, life-giving work around the world as well as right here at home. That's why right now we're asking you to go to your phone and call. We're coming up to the end of this hour and we need to hear from you. Our number's toll-free, 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? We have a $153,000 challenge and we get the red number up. We're closing in on victory. 15,000 is left on it, so we need to hear from you in just two minutes and 13 seconds. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000.
In a remote village in India, clean water was impossible to come by. Still, one man and his family risked their lives every day to fetch water that wasn't fit, fit to bathe in, much less to drink. In a tribal community in southern India, walking three miles to get water was dangerous for Anjaya, his wife, and their two-year-old daughter. When we go early in the morning, there is chance of being bitten by snakes or scorpions, but we have no other choice. The water they risked their lives for wasn't even safe to bathe in, let alone drink. There would be worms in the water, and it was very dirty and muddy. Even when we tried to filter the water, it still had some dirt in it. Because of that, we often got sick. Then a local pastor told CBN about their water problem. So he sent our clean water team to drill a well in their village. The well gave Anjaya's family, along with 70 other families, a way to safely get clean drinking water. Since the well is near a house, we can get water anytime we want. We are very happy. No one could help us but God. He sent you to give us the well. I thank him and you so much. Thank you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. We're counting down to victory on this wonderful $153,000 challenge. There's still time to get in. We've got 32 seconds left on the clock, so call us 1-800-700-7000, or you can go to cbn.com slash give and give on the internet. And I've got some great news from Brownwood, Texas. Brand new donor coming in saying, I want to give a significant gift, $9,600. That is wonderful news. That gets matched and doubled because we're in this challenge. And just seconds left to go. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's been a glorious morning. We had a $153,000 challenge. And against that, you gave. Yes. We leave with these words from Psalm 28. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. For all of you who called and gave, gave, God bless you and may the presence of the Lord be with you today and forever. God bless.